Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Gay Boy Psychic here at your service, making the universe a better place with positive karmic energy. Let's go. So for all my new viewers out there, just know that I don't edit my voice clips or voice uh, clippings together. This is just me talking straight up from the beginning to the end to prove that I'm a psychic and to set a good example out there that this that it's okay to be yourself. This is how people talk in real life. And I'm setting a good example that, yeah, like, yeah, this is how people talk in real life. Like, you don't have to edit shit to be yourself. And also, I do swear a lot. And just know that um, swearing doesn't mean that you're a bad person. Swearing is actually a good thing because swearing, in my opinion, uh, really shows people your personality. So if you, like, really love Paris Hilton like me, I always say to my girlfriends all the time that, like, I fucking love Paris Hilton. So, you know, swearing... It is not a bad thing. So don't think I'm like this bitchy gay dude who hates the world, who swears at everything. Like, no, I don't. I'm not like that at all. You're crazy. Anyways, so um, this video is going to be about Ethan Klein and his disgusting homophobia, his trashy mom, Donna Klein, and her enab enabling her trashy son's homophobia. And um, the second topic is going to be about Mario Salman and James Charles' new friendship. And the third topic is going to be about BTS and their Grammy loss slash snub slash like 20 billion times this happens and Jimin's hair. So, um, yeah, so let's start off with, uh, B or sorry, not BTS, um, uh, Ethan Klein really fast. Okay, so let's go. So, um, yeah, so this happened like two, three days ago to actually like, actually two and a half days ago now because... I, like I said, I'm a lazy bitch, like in all my other videos, if for all my uh, loyal subscribers out there, what's up, I love you guys. Um, yeah, so like, I, I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately, and I just want to say thank you to my new subscribers. You guys made a good choice in your life. You guys will not regret this. Your life will be better from now on. I promise. Um, but uh, I've always knew that Ethan Klein was this like fake ass evil fucking um money grabbing attention hogging just fucking hitler like piece of shit honestly so like he does remind me of hitler he really really does it's the craziest thing in the world because i don't i always like compare uh hitler with a lot of people because in my opinion like hitler was like the worst person ever and even saying his name is like wrong but like it's kind of like harry potter and voldemort you know, like, in the Harry Potter world, you're not allowed to say Voldemort. I feel like in the real-life human world, we're not allowed to say Hitler. And Hitler was like Voldemort because he literally killed, like, so many innocent people. Oh, my God, horrible. But, like, Ethan Klein, just the look, he looks like he's, like, Hitler. Like, he always has this grumpy face on him. And, like, he's just, like, a very, very... I think he's, like... 99.9 percent .9 bad i don't think ethan klein is like 100 percent bad i will say but he's pretty damn fucking close to there so let's just leave it at that 99.9 .9 .9 bitch so he literally um posted or not posted well in the past um uh, i remember him being called out this was like a couple years ago he i think he said the f word uh i i see okay here's the thing i'm a openly gay guy right so for me to say the f word like the actual word um since i am an openly gay guy i don't think that if i were to say it then it's offensive so i i believe that i can say it if i want it's the f word with the ot at the end um so he said something along the lines of that either the f g word it starts with f ends with g or the other word that starts with f ends with t so he either said one of those two words in an old post that he uh, made in the past <coughs> excuse me um see this is just the proof that i don't edit shit i just cough and you know what's so fucking crazy sorry off topic is that i was talking before i made this video clip or voiceover just fine now but as soon as i wanted to uh sit down and uh actually talk and make this voice editing i literally had to clear my throat for like two minutes because there was snot and i it's weird and like i was talking fine and then suddenly it just came out of nowhere so that's why i coughed i don't know my fucking body is weird but uh, anyways um so like i said in the past ethan klein he like literally 
posted in his past like so many like horrible homophobic remarks to the gay community and then once he got like super famous on his podcast and he got called out for it because people brought up his past he's like oh i'm a changed person now forgive me guys i'm not i'm with the lgbt now it's like no you're not bitch you're just fucking fake as fuck because literally through years and years and years and were years the people the brave people of the lgbt community they fought for lgbt rights and they are as the world is becoming older people are becoming more accepting to the lgbt community that's why in 2022 now everybody is okay with people being gay you know there's hardly anybody that's not okay with it but like even a couple years ago if it weren't for the uh, the inspiring transgender people out there the inspiring lgbt people out there that you know showed the people who aren't lgbt that they're that we're not bad people just because we're gay doesn't mean that we're like bad people like um like i'm just so inspired by like transgender people and people who in the lgb community who are who are not scared to be themselves who show the straight people out there that like you know like we don't have to prove anything but we're just doing this for ourselves that you know it's okay to be gay it's fine being gay is not bad and that's why in 2022 like people are calling ethan klein for his uh previous remarks and he's getting scared now because he just wants to go with the crowd he just wants to do what everybody else is doing he's like he reminds me of like that lonely fucking evil kid in school that um nobody wants to hang around and he's not like the geek or anything like that he's just like the fucking cringy like kkk kid that in school that nobody wants to hang around because they know that he's evil and he's just he it's it's weird and then uh, he just wants to like make friends so he'll like do whatever to make friends and he'll hang he'll try to hang out with the popular kids but the popular kids won't even want to hang out with him like and he'll do whatever what, what everybody is saying like that's what ethan klein is to me he's just like that evil fucking miserable fucking piece of shit person who just wants to go with the crowd and who's not a good person who doesn't have a head on his shoulder doesn't have common sense and unfortunately there's like so many other people in the world that are just like him like literally like billions but like literally like you know majority rules so thank god not everybody is like ethan klein because you know that's just the some percentage of how people are in this world but like um what was i saying ethan klein fucking oh yeah his mom donna klein so like i said ethan klein is just one of those evil fucking toxic people that just wants to go with the crowd and just wants to uh fit in but he he thinks that he can do anything he wants he doesn't have like common sense like he's always going to fuck up and say something really really fucking racist or homophobic or just as evil as those level of evilness are um so just there's no fixing ethan klein and what pisses me off is that you know there's okay just because i'm gay i just want to make it clear you're if you're straight you're straight right but like say you're a straight guy um not just because there's another straight guy close to you um people are gonna consider you and him very similar because you guys are both straight males so they think that all straight males are the same but you know in your heart that just because he's a straight male doesn't mean that he's exactly the same as you like you guys have uh completely different personalities some straight guys hate each other they'll fucking like fight each other and shit like that just like a straight girl like just if you're a straight girl and you're with another straight girl people are gonna think that you guys have the same personality because you guys are straight girls but in the end you guys are completely different so just because you're straight or you're gay doesn't mean that um a gay guy or a straight guy or girl is gonna be this uh who's not you like you're like a random person who's thinks like what you like uh sexual orientation wise just because they like uh i don't even know if i should say this whatever just because someone likes fucking pussy doesn't mean that another guy who likes pussy is gonna have their same personality as them just because a girl likes dick doesn't mean or or another gay guy likes dick uh, doesn't mean a, a gay guy or another girl that likes dick as well is gonna be like them you know we all have different personalities and what i'm trying to say is that there's so many fucking gay guys out there that um are just such fucking messes and they make other gay guys like me look bad because people who are straight are gonna think that oh yeah this guy is gay like he could be your best friend like no just because he's gay doesn't mean that he's gonna be my best friend like for example that mad guy who called ethan klein and started this whole fucking shit i thought that guy was a fucking evil mess like 
first of all, I have so many fucking shit to say about this, so this is gonna be a long video. I'm po I apologize. So fucking pause the video right now and grab some popcorn or something to munch on or a snack as you watch this video. I am so sorry. Like I'm a very specific person. I have to be specific. So yeah. So um, this fucking Matt guy, he started the whole thing. So he called in on their podcast, and Ethan Klein was just being a fucking dick to him for no reason because Ethan Klein he he's oh he's so disgusting he's calling james charles a pedophile and all this horrible shit when james charles is not and watch my videos about james charles why he is not a pedophile and i made about him like several and i am a psychic i predicted that um like during his whole like minor scanner scandal thing he um literally uh made a video and before he made the video the ver the the day before he made the video before he didn't announce it to anybody that he was going to create that video he just posted it and, and it became viral but i was the only person on youtube to predict that he was going to create a video the next day um and i was right because he created the video the next day so go watch my videos about james charles about that so just please know that i am psychic i need i do know what i'm talking about so um keep that in mind uh so this is my guy he was like this young openly gay guy that called in to ethan klein and he was an ethan klein fan like he was saying in the beginning of his phone call because i listened to the whole clip um he said that um he was a huge 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 ethan fan he goes on youtube to watch h3 podcast because he has a horrible life or something like that and he goes on youtube to make himself feel happy and you know what that's so fucking crazy that when he said that i was like okay this is a sign that i have to fucking create a youtube video because literally i think it was the jeff wittick video there that i made like two videos ago so watch that video if you haven't yet it's actually really really good I, I, one of my favorite videos that i made or yeah created um the crane incident thing so like i predicted in that video i believe that no i didn't predict i said in that video that there's a lot of scammers on youtube like jeff wittick and ethan klein that will um pretend that they're like this nice like superman personality person and they make content on youtube like heavy heavily edited content on youtube um and that lures people uh to watch them and to subscribe and pay for their uh, merchandise and just support them and horrible shit like that like um this guy was saying that like he had like a horrible life and that's why he goes on youtube is t to uh escape his reality and in that video i made with jeff wittick i said people go on youtube because most people live a horrible life they have a really bad reality they have a horrible job that they hate um so they go on youtube or something else like that is going on with their life so they go on youtube to escape reality because youtube is fun to a fun place to be because it's fun watching people um make these fun videos that's highly edited and each video is different from each other you know it's 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 a form of entertainment so that's why i said like uh in that video that people go on youtube to uh for a form of entertainment but there's trashy youtubers like ethan klein and trisha paytas and jeff woodsick and the vlog squad who just make trashy kkk like content who just promote evilness and they scam their loyal fans who have bad lives and they manipulate them to buy their merchandise and stuff like that and they don't care for their fans who have bad lives who support them like the whole ethan klein talking to his uh matt fan like the beginning of the conversation matt was saying that like um yeah like i'm a, i'm a huge supporter of you of you guys so like whatever i say like if it sounds bad like i don't mean any harm by it you know i just want to let you know that like you guys had helped me through a rough time in my life that's what he was saying to ethan so ethan knew and this is what i'm saying like these content creators like trisha paytas jeff wittick the vlog squad david dobrik they don't care about the fans who support them who have horrible lives they just want to use them to make them buy their merchandise to fucking scam them especially trisha paytas so she can like fucking scam her fucking older douchey boyfriend's meals and stuff like that like it's just like burger king meals it's so gross like that these creators just don't care about their loyal fans who support them because i know that like if that were to happen to me if i were to ever be on their level and a fan came up to me and did that to me i would not treat the fan bad like i did like ethan klein did with his fan because ethan klein literally like after the fan told him that he basically loved him um he was like just degrading the fan he's like okay so like that's nice so like okay tell me like 
yeah, so you think James Charles is a pedophile, right? And then the guy was like, yeah, James Charles should be locked up in jail. And this was another openly gay guy who was, because gay guys, this is what I hate about, about certain gay guys because straight guys will always have like another straight guy's back it's like called the bro cold and you know I, I feel like a gay guy should always have a gay guy's back as well like use your fucking common sense know that james charles is not a fucking pedophile just because ethan klein is famous and he's saying it doesn't mean believe, doesn't make it real that james charles is an actual pedophile so use your fucking uh mind matt and other all the other gay guys out there who like support People calling a fellow LGBT member a fucking pedophile when he's not like that shit like pisses me off so much how gay guys are just so fu- some gay guys are just so fucking delusional and dumb. So this Matt guy is just a perfect example because first of all, you're just pointing Ethan Klein and Ethan Klein is a fucking monster. You're dumb. And second of all, you're calling a fellow LGBT member a fucking pedophile and putting him down uh, like just putting him down like the hole where nobody wants to see him ever again, like type of thing like. What's that? There's an analogy for that term. I, I forgot what it is, but you know what I mean. Like, you're supposed to support an LGBT member if they're not a bad person. Use your common sense. So I guess it's just it all has to do with common sense. Some gay guys out there, they just have no fucking common sense, and it just pisses me off so much because you know I have a lot of straight friends, and they're like, oh, because in my city there's not a lot of gay guys. Like I have like this one really one cool gay friend, but other than that, I don't really have any other gay friends because they're all in the closet in my city so um like they um (laughs) they just have like no common sense and um like oh wait what was i saying my friend oh yeah my friend was saying that like um if like if she meets like this random gay guy she's gonna be like oh well oh I, i almost said my fucking name shit um they're gonna be like oh well um like he's gay he can be your best friend it's like no that's not how it works hon but nice try um what was i fucking saying oh yeah so c- certain certain fucking gay guys out there they just like they're just they just have no common sense and i want nothing to do with, with them and i don't want people to think that all gay guys are the same and i made this, a, a topic this topic in another video before so that's all i'm gonna say like it's a very interesting topic i know but um like the video is going on way too long so i just want to and the Ethan Klein note was that that he was always a fucking homophobic piece of shit, and he will still continue to be. And um, the fact that he was just like degrading his fan and asking him if he was a top or bottom, like even though the fan was asking him not to like ask him that because that's very un- in- inappropriate, and he was still like degrading him, like that is so disrespectful, especially after he told you that he was a fan and he supported you. So karma is real, and I just want to say his fucking mom. Um, when this situation went viral, his fucking disgusting mom named Donna Klein, I call her Demon Klein because she's so fucking evil. She looks like a demon and she pisses me off so much because like she's one of those like Karen fucking cunts who have like these douchey, like racist, homophobic sons and um, she'll act as if like she's Mother Teresa and be like, uh, like people who don't know about her son, like Ethan Klein um she'll like people who don't know about him like if she goes out in public she'll like act as if she's like mother Teresa and like make this friendly voice and like put this friendly fake smile it and when in reality behind closed doors she like raised a horrible like racist like evil fucking homophobic son ethan klein so fuck you ethan okay so i don't think ethan klein is that ra- i think he has made some some racist remarks i will say and most of his fucking crews are all white guys obviously so i do think that he does have like some type of racism towards him i know he's homophobic so donna Klein, she made this fucking tweet saying something like you know people are taking jokes too serious or people uh don't understand the real concept about it i don't know she was trying to use like these big ass words to make herself look good but in reality she was just being a fucking troll and she got called out by so many people in the comments and it was so fucking funny it's like just next time shut the fuck up just just mind your own care and business and just shut the fuck up for your own fucking like mental health bitch she's fucking crazy she's like a fucking demon she reminds me of shane dawson's mom kathy or whatever her fucking name is um yeah anyways so um the next topic is going to be about james charles and mario selman because i could go on about ethan klein and how much of a homophobic piece of shit he is but i really don't want to because i think that his his energy is just so evil like i feel energy and whenever i think of ethan klein it's just so fucking toxic and evil like 
being in a room with him, like in real life, that must be the scariest, most... It's like being with Hitler. Honestly, he reminds me of Hitler. That's the best energy I can compare him with. So I, I want to remove his energy from my fucking uh, mind right now, please. And let me go to a more positive note. So James Charles and Mario Selman. This is going to be a really short topic. But this happened like probably four to five days ago as well. And I could have made a video about it right away. But the thing is, it's like... I don't know, I let, I let, it's like marinating meat or marinating vegetables, like, you want to, like, let it marinate in the juices and sauce and seasonings for, like, a couple hours, the longer the better, because that would mean that the flavor is going to be better, so, um, every time you hear, like, hot news, like, Sebastian Soto, I do like him, but he's one of those guys who just reports news instantly, like, he doesn't let things brew and i feel like you should let things brew so that you can get more information so that when you actually make a video you have more val val valid points to your uh opinions so i feel like this is a, the proper way to do it rather than being like spatching a soto and being like messy and making videos constantly i mean i don't know um i mean no shade to Sebastian. i do support him i do like him but like he can be a mess sometimes but um that being said uh, James Charles, Mario Salmon, they went to, they, this was so fucking cute, you guys. So I support like gay twinks, like hanging out with each other. And, you know, I feel like in the future, gay twinks are going to like be like it. You know, like back in the day, Paris Hilton and um, Nicole Richie, they made like The Simple Life. And that was like on everybody's mind. Like they became like huge celebrities from that and everybody like was copying them like girls started like dressing them in school and girls started acting like them in school because i remember when i when they were like when the simple life was in its prime of its tv i was either in middle school or high school and i remember all the girls who were like white <laughs> they're all acting like paris hilton like they all like have their white girlfriends and they're all just acting like her dressing like her telling how much oh we love paris hilton like it was so cute because i love paris hilton so fucking much uh, I think she's so inspirational to the LGBT community, um, and just to the feminine, like, cisgender feminine community as well. I feel like, uh, the, the main reason why I, the only main reason why I have so many fucking cisgender straight girlfriends is because of Paris Hilton. Like, all my f straight girlfriends are just like her, like, personality-wise. So, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I said that, but... Uh, Mario Selman and James Charles, like, the Twinks, like, I feel like they're gonna, like, they're, like, just the first out, out of what's to come in the future. Like, I feel like there's gonna be more Twink celebrities coming into the light, like, YouTubers or just musicians and even actors. And, you know, they're just gonna, like, be like Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie and just hang out with other Twink friends. And it's just so entertaining to watch Twinks hang out with each other because I'm a Twink as well and us Twinks gotta support with each other you know so um james charles mario salmon like five days ago they went to uh an escape room and i'll post a picture now if i haven't already um so it was so fucking cute because like if it weren't for james charles i would not have known who mario salmon is so watch my videos and made about mario salmon why i love him so much so i just want to like bring that up really fast because i don't know i'm just trying to put some positivity in, in this video they went to the escape room together and it was so it was fucking cute i wish that they hung out more i wish that like they were like the the, the new it best friend you know how, like there's like celebrities out there that are like best friends and, like um like who are actors and stuff so like i'm not trying to think of like reality tv celebrities like paris and nicole rich i'm trying to think of like actual like celebrities who are like actors like a-list actors so who's like a good best friend Okay, okay, this, they might, might not be celebrities, like, in, in actors, but, like, Oprah Winfrey and Gail, like, they're two females, but they're, like, two females who are known to, like, uh, publicly have each other's back no matter what. So th that's what I feel like James Charles and Mar Mario Summer should be. I feel like they should be, like, that type of friendship. I want them to be, like, the Oprah and Gail King friendship. Uh, Gail King, is that her last name? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so... I'm just gonna change the topic really fast because I just want to uh, talk about that really fast to be positive. And I also like Mario Summon. If you're listening to this right now, please keep your hair blonde, please. 
I did some fucking meditation to make your fucking hair blonde, bitch. Like, if it weren't for Lila Gibney and her fucking Instagram live and her reading my fucking comment telling... Because, okay, okay, so Lila Gibney and um, this girl named Kaylee Anderson, Anderson, I love her. She, uh, they went live in their washroom getting ready to go out or something like that to like Las Vegas or something like that. And um, they did this Instagram live and then they were asked, uh, the viewers were asking questions. So I, I knew that Lila Gibney and Mario uh, Salmon were close friends. So I told uh, Lila, I said in the comment, I said, hey, Lila, can you please tell Mario to dye his hair back to blonde because he looks too basic with his natural brown hair. He doesn't look appealing. He doesn't look like the Draco Malfoy, like super twink look. Uh, and then, you know, she, uh, Kaylee Anderson actually read the comment out loud. And then Lila commented and she's like, oh, yeah, he's actually thinking about it. And I was like freaking the fuck out because I knew that she probably hurt or Kaylee probably did go up to Mario and tell him to dye his hair back to blonde for my comment because I made sure to make sure my comment was going to be loud and clear because I put it all in capitals and I, it was actually a, like this huge ass paragraph. So to make sure that they remember because i i'm psychic bitch i know what i'm doing and it worked because like uh two weeks after that uh instagram live video um he changed his hair back to blonde after having it brown for a year and i was so fucking happy and he's kept it blonde ever since so it's been like three four months now since he's kept it blonde and i'm so fucking happy what i'm not happy is that he should post fucking vlogs of him with his blonde hair like going to coachella and flirting with hot fucking straight guys because this fucking guy when he goes out because i'm saying that straight guys in general i made a video a video about this before with the whole elena genevieve podcast i said that a lot of straight jocks by curious jocks they're into like twinkish guys who look like mario summon so when that motherfucker goes out with his blonde hair you should see all the fucking straight at hot straight by curious guys that check him out it's fucking crazy and so therefore that's why you want to see vlogs of mario salmon like he, and he's always saying that he wants to fucking find himself a fucking boyfriend it's like okay well listen to my advice mario salmon if you want to find a boyfriend listen to my advice and yeah keep your hair blonde so and post vlogs on youtube please so anyways like on a consist consistency don't just post like one every fucking 10 years post like once every month at least like come on give us at least that <sighs> to to all to like all his fans because there's so many people who love him like m myself like mario stop being a bitch and please listen to us we love you we have your back we want what's best for you okay okay so that being said uh this next topic is going to be about um bts black swan so i was debating in this video like before i made this video that like maybe i should just do like three separate topics at once but like the james charles and mario selman topic th that's all i wanted to talk about with them so if i were to make a video about them that's all i would it would be so it'd be very boring like only five minutes and it's like nobody wants to watch a five minute video so whatever so the last topic i'm going to be talking about is bts jimin and uh their attendance at the uh grammys this year so let's go so oh my god i'm pissed like straight up i'm pissed because bts like they're such an inspirational bts k-pop band they they are one of the biggest uh boy bands ever like they're way bigger than one direction ever was you guys remember how like literally like only like eight years ago one direction was like the biggest thing in the world and then like they quickly fell off grace like nobody is talking about them anymore nobody cares about them anymore and um now bts has like taken over and bts has came out of nowhere like they weren't on the x factor like one direction was like they didn't use like a show to um make them famous they they like became famous from from nothing basically so um and they are way more successful than one direction ever was and they're still successful now so um everybody loves their music everybody in the whole world loves them and they're inspirational and the grammys who oh my god the grammys they're literally like just trash just pure american trash company that doesn't support like foreign uh people so They've been nominated for the Grammys for like four, three years now, three or four years now, probably. And it pissed me off. Like, 
was it two years ago when they were when they re just released black swan and black swan was just such one of the biggest hits of the there's in a while music wise like and everybody was talking about black swan and how beautiful and majestic it was and it, it was all about jimin in that video and jimin and like in the in the real life performance of black swan like it's every the focus is on, is on jimin in real life so um so that like that song was made for him so and he's my bias so if he were to perform black swan when it came out and if they were to won a Grammy uh, for that song, Black Swan, that would have made BTS's fans, like, super, super happy because Jimin is a hard... The reason why BTS is so popular is because of Jimin. He has, like, this high fashion, like, twinkish look with his blonde hair, and everybody loves that. And, like, he has, like, this angelic, beautiful voice, and he has, like, a really funny personality. Like, we all... And he works his ass off. And he deserved the fucking Grammy for Black Swan, him and BTS. But they didn't allow them to perform Black Swan, and they didn't win the Grammy. And then two years after that, uh, when they released Dynamite, they were nominated again for Dynamite, and uh, they didn't fucking win again. And then this year, they were nominated again for Butter or whatever it was, and they didn't fucking win again. So I think it's been three years since they've been nominated that they didn't win any fucking Grammys. But the, the, the Grammys always invite them um from overseas whenever they're touring touring in korea or just like um not touring because of the pandemic uh they'll still like um invite them to the grammys for support and i'm saying to give them like uh press for to make the grammys more popular because they know that bts is very popular but yet they don't give them any fucking awards and they put and olivia rodriguez girl like she is a new artist and she literally like won fucking grammys and bts has been out for like eight years and they haven't won any fucking grammys since the eight years that they've been out olivia rodriguez has only been out in the music scene for like a year and she just won a grammy so it's just it goes to show that the Grammy people are just focused on like american culture they don't focus on like the foreign culture and it's and they're just using bts for uh press and popularity and i'm just disappointed in, in the managers of bts like the uh supervisors of bts like the people who like run their careers and shit like that like like the managers is that what they are i don't know but um the big hype entertainment the fucking logo uh logo company uh the fucking uh music company why did i say logo company that's so fucking funny oh my god chill <laughs> um Am I high? No, I'm not high. Um, so literally, like, Big Hit Entertainment needs to stop bringing BTS to the Grammys because the Grammys are just going to continue to snub them and snub them and snub them. And Jimin was even, he even made this, uh, I think it was a tw tweet saying that how disappointed he was. And I'm just so fucking sad because Jimin works so hard and he's the reason why BTS is so popular and he deserves a fucking Grammy and he didn't give him any fucking Grammys. I mean, he even got, like, a fucking, like, uh, his song was uh, Friends with V. Him and V, like, their friendship is so fucking cute. And um, they're, the girl who created the new Marvels movie with Angelina Jolene, uh, I didn't watch it, but it was, like, that Asian guy from Korea as well. Funny that I'm talking about Asian guy from Korea because BTS is from Korea. But that guy from Korea who's, like, a superstar there apparently, like, he uh, was in the film as well. So, what's it fucking called? Best. F the song is called Best Friends, but in that Marvel movie, whatever. I'm not even going to think about it because I didn't watch it because I don't like Angelina Jolie. But, anyways, um, the director, she seems cool. She like She's a huge Jibin fan and she uh, put his song that he create co produced. And she, at the end of the uh, movie, she put credits and put his name at the end of the credits for the song and it was just so inspiring because jimin he literally won everything he won american music awards with bts he literally won all the awards that you can think of the best ultimate award that you can win for music is the grammy so he deserves a fucking grammy not fucking olivia rodriguez so I, i'm done and like i just oh i hate when like big hit entertainment like keeps all the members hair like black because Nobody wants to see, like, basic black hair. Like, people like appearance. So, Jimin, his flam, his pretty... when he, Okay, so when Jimin has black hair, 
it's very similar to Mario Sum, and Mario Sum, and by the way, does love its manner. So, like, literally, everything is connecting in my fucking world. Like, I'm, I, this is why I'm a psychic, because literally, like, everything that I talk about just connects with each other. And, like, I just, I don't know. But um, Mario Summon, like, he also really loves Jimin as well. Like, he follows Jimin on fucking Instagram, and he talks about Jimin all the time. People say that he looks like Jimin, and he loves it. He wants to be like Jimin, and I fucking love it. I think he's so fuck. I think it's so fucking cute. Like, um, Jimin with the black hair, just like Mario Summon with his brown hair, they look basic. They don't look, they look masculine and basic. But if, but since they're, like, openly gay, uh, yes, I did just call Jimin openly gay, deal with it there's nothing wrong with being gay bitch fuck off um so jimin like um he ha- when he has blonde hair and when mario summon has blonde hair they look like different people they look like feminine like alien looking draco Malfoy looking harry potter looking like uh twinks and not all twinks are like that so mario summon and jimin and myself because i'm like that as well they all have they- they're very similar to each other so just like I said, how, like, all, not all gay guys are the same. Not all twinks are the same. So, um, not all twinks can have that special look. So, um, that being said, because, um, like, look at James Charles. Cause James Charles is, like, a twink as well. But when James Charles has brown hair, and then when James Charles dyes his hair blonde, he doesn't have that, like, alien-looking, Draco Malfoy-looking gay twinkish looking look that Mario Salmon and Jimin has you know what I mean like that's the best way I can describe it like why are people so dumb where I can't even like describe myself like the first time around like I have to like describe myself the second time around so people can understand I don't know it's a lot it's a lot of work being a fucking gay psychic but uh, you know w- the harder you work the more you can play you know and guess what I just got a really really amazing job offer I'm actually well not job offer so uh my uh interview is on april 18th so pray for me like it's gonna be like a virtual interview like through the computer i've done many of them before and i did get jobs like done before so i would so i've so i'm not really nervous to do it i just really hope that i get the job because this is like a really would be a really good job for me so please pray for that i get this job after the virtual interview that i have with my employer or, or whoever is going to be interviewing me uh so yeah pray for me for all my fans out there and this video is like forever but i'm so happy with this video and yeah um subscribe if you want positive karma justice in the world and for more psychic predictions from a gay sassy psychic uh young gay guy like myself and peace talk to you guys later